So today I am flying to Sydney to give my keynote to Barker College. I had to get up so early. But here I am at the airport. It's going to be a good one. And I'll wake up and be fully energised before I give my presentation. All right, it's now an hour in an Uber until I get to the school. So I better make myself comfortable and get to know my Uber driver. Hi, how are you? Mate, look at that moustache. Look at that, that is beautiful <laughs> Mario over here. Well, how, mate, how long does it take you to do that thing? Uh, uh, more than two years. It uh, takes you two, two years, years to do it? <laughs> two, two years, man. What about in the morning to twirl it? Uh, that thing is not like much hard. I'm just trying for two minutes. They can fix it. That's it. Two minutes, mate. Two it's beautiful. Yeah. Mwah. Yeah. Thanks. Where are you from, bro? I'm from India, in the North India, Punjab. And and when you're not driving Ubers, what do you do? Um, professionally, I'm baker. And if I'm sometimes free, then I'm driving in a ride share. What? You're a baker? Yes, I'm baker. I'm baking for banana breads and muffins. Banana breads and muffins. Yes. You're looking trim for yeah. how much muffin you eat. No, no, I can't eat for banana bread and muffin because I make every day. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat it. <laughs> yes. I get, I do this basically in every video, but before a talk, like as I know it's coming into it, I get this weird, overwhelming sense of excitement where literally I go, <sighs> like it makes me look like a psycho. <sighs> I think it was a technique I discovered years and years ago when I was maybe like not feeling ready to go on camera or I didn't feel like I was myself to start performing. And now, like moments beforehand, it's like the neuro pathways in my brain say, hey, Seamus, it's time to perform. Let's do that thing you usually do to make you feel good. It's great. And I get like, it's like a rush. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Sweet, here we are. I've got my little background there. Oh, I'm in the way. Hello. <laughs> so I'm going to be speaking to the grade nines here at Barker College today. They are going to fill up this auditorium. See that as they walk in. So today is only a half an hour presentation. So I'm going to like chop it down and make it like half an hour of just absolute power. I was running down the street without my shirt on, and that became a tick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's like, 
staring at me, probably like, what is wrong with that guy? Just got in the Uber and um, I'm about to head back on, heading back to the airport to go back home. I tell you what, only having half an hour to deliver my presentation was really good because I had to cut a lot out and to replace it, I really decided to explore certain messaging around resilience and messaging around radical acceptance. And I really used like a few other examples of resilience and I honed in in order to be resilient, you must have a purpose. You must have a reason. To be resilient means you're able to get back up after being knocked down or bounce back to normal after a difficult situation. But I really ham at home, in order to get back up, you need a reason, you need a purpose, you need values. You need to be able to go, I'm getting back up because. And I really hammered that home to some of these students. And in grade nine, I found to be a really difficult age group but they're my favorite to speak to because they seem a little bit standoffish because they're like, I'm going through changes in my body and I'm a little insecure and I don't really know how to feel. So I'm not gonna laugh at your jokes, Seamus. <laughs> but I love them because they're the ones I want to win over. They are the ones that I feel need to hear this message the most. And I really liked my last piece of messaging which was you are not in control of what happens to you in life but you are in control of how you handle it you are not in control of the cards you're dealt with but you are in control of how you play them and i really push that home to say hey through radical exception through looking inside of yourself and being confident in who you are and accepting your setbacks you will impact your own life and your community 10 times more than what you think. And you are capable of so much more, even though you've got these setbacks and adversity. Because we hate, we all face adversity, man. Also, we did something really, really cool for the first time. I've never done this before, but we teamed up with Barker College and Tourette Syndrome Association Australia for the next Tourette Syndrome camp next year in 2023 and said to the students, hey, if you want to volunteer, write your name down. And there were lines of students just wanting to volunteer at Nexus Camp, which was so cool. All right, just made it to the airport. Now I am going to park up at that beer deluxe there, have lunch and edit this video. So if you liked it, like it, leave a comment, subscribe, and have a good day.